those carburetors, Pokey. You got real combustion there, man. delinquent. He's a menace to society. Wait here a few minutes, Pokey. I'll be right back. Now, Hepzibah, you wait here. I'll be back in a moment. Excuse me, ma'am. Here's my address, ma'am. Just send me the bill. I'll pay for a new pair. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. Oops. Excuse me, sir. Hepzibah, you've been a good dog waiting here patiently in the hot sun. I'll soon cool you off with a little ride. That shady old lady, she stole my car! This motor doesn't sound the way it ought to. I'd better have the mechanic look at it right away. What do you say, Hepzibah? Can I help you, ma'am? Yes. My motor sounds strange. Uh, does it sound all right to you? Sounds fine to me, ma'am. Change of gas can make it sound different. Oh, Hepzibah, come back. Sir, uh, could you catch my Hepzibah and bring her back? Sure thing, ma'am. What could have gotten into Hepzibah? Thank you, young man. Hepzibah, I'm surprised at you. You might have gotten lost in the city. It was a green hot rod with white top and white sidewall tires. We'll find it for you, son. Don't worry. I sure hope Pokey is safe. reckless drivers on the road today. If I only had my glasses, then I could see those lawbreakers and report them to the police. Hepzibah, you hear that siren? That's music to my ears. It means our police, bless their hearts, are on the job catching those reckless drivers. Mercy sakes alive. I'm going to complain to the highway department about this road. I'm just pleased as punch at how nicely my car is running today. Hey, man, is this a race or a chase? Dig that rig. Crazy, man, Daddy yo! I'm going to write a letter to the State Highway Commissioner. Imagine forgetting to put a bridge here. 
Look at that poor messenger boy over there. Lady, I've got a message for you, all right, from the chief. Young man, after driving your hot rod, I'd never be happy with my old car anymore. <laughs> Bye! Wow, $400? Now I can build a better hot rod. What do you say, Hepzibah?